Good morning, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Sorgatron.com is where this show resides. It's the Good Morning Show with me. Hi, how you doing? Uh, and of course, please subscribe to us. We're on YouTube's. We're on iTunes. We're on Stitcher. No, Spreaker. No, Stitcher. No, Stitcher. And Spreaker, actually. No, we're putting that up there, too. And that was a little mistake. And today I want to talk about mistakes. Um, yesterday's show was a mistake. Um, not in content. I, I, I enjoyed very much talking about Microsoft and stuff. Um, but as a couple people let me know, there was a little bit of a problem. Uh, it seems that uh, when I decided to move the video and, and use this computer that I boot up and and, and show stuff, you know, like like if you're on with us, like I do here, uh, and I've shown some videos from the uh, Microsoft conference, and uh, I, I, I apparently left on, because um, it's typically the computer that we push all the audio from our Google Hangouts, and I didn't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also not wearing my headphones uh, in that video. If you if you see, um, I wanted I figured it's just me. It's not a big deal, and and that has been the case for several months as we've been doing uh, the show. And uh, it wasn't something that came across my mind when I decided to move this to video and it started to throw some of the other elements in that we do on Tuesdays uh, for Wrestling Mayhem Show, our awesome cast, and the like. Um, and uh, so uh, I downplayed the part with the headphones. Very important. One to make sure I'm on the mic in the right way. I, I feel like I've been getting kind of a weird sound that doesn't equal what's going on uh, on Tuesday nights uh, when when I, I I pound this thing out. Um, and then little things like that. And, and, and it drives me nuts when there's something like that 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 uh completely throws me um because i know these headphones were sitting right here by me and i heard the audio through them but i'm desensitized to it because i also have headphones sitting here from the recording computer and sometimes i'll get an echoey thing and i i've learned to disregard it because i know that's fine it's, it's just it's recording and it's coming through and it's, it's okay and sometimes i'll mute it um so for whatever reason it didn't dawn on me probably because i'm doing this i'm switching I'm, I'm i'm trying to carry on a conversation at the same point a very multitasking thing i actually had somebody recently uh sit in my chair and, and kind of do my job mid-show um uh, uh back in december and uh they stood up and says like i you need more people <laughs> to do this so um yeah it'd be nice it'd be nice to be able to split things off and hope maybe i could be a little more fluent in my conversations you know um, but I, I, I like, I don't know, maybe it's cause I'm a control freak or something. Um, but stuff happens. Um, mayhem show this week. I, you know, I left wrong titles up, uh, for a bit, uh, for people as, as we kind of swapped people in and out, um, in certain segments and, uh, and I didn't cover them up appropriately. Um, that it happens. Um, old shows. I, I went back and listened to an interview with Shima Zion from 2009. Uh, Shima Zion, now known as DJZ or DJ Zima Ion on uh, TNA's uh, Impact Wrestling, now on Destination America. Um, we had him on a couple weeks. So I wanted to listen to the last time he was on. And the audio around that is just so very bad. So, so very bad. And we I remember having weeks where I'd have to write. And there was another interview I checked out recently where the interview was good. I think it was the Jimmy Snuka uh, episode. So I was cutting that out to put it up for YouTube. And uh, the audio, I, I remember there was an apology on the on the post about how bad the audio was. I've been podcasting for, uh, I'm going to be coming on 10 years here soon. And they haven't all been perfect. But the show's come out for several years now, weekly. This show's daily-ish, four days a week. Um, one thing that I've learned through this, and I've had jobs where, you know, very deadline centric jobs where we're delivering a product every month and mistakes are going to be made and learning the bar of ship it or fix it is very difficult. Um, 
in that old job there i know we missed uh we we barely missed uh deadlines usually that meant because i would have to stay at work until god knows at night or sometimes even have some uh, office uh, a couple of times uh if it was that bad i saw no other way to 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 wrap it um in this case for these shows it's you know something gets out every week you know and it's like oh that wasn't that wasn't the best but it gets out um I know or have experienced a lot of people that have never shipped their product. What does that mean? Uh, a lot of people saying, oh, I want to do a show that does X, Y, and Z. Oh, I want to do this. Um, I want to do this. And I think this applies to your personal life as much as, you know, all the people saying, oh, I'm going to do this and, 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 and get better with this. Um, you need to just do it. And, and, and you know, in, in the conversations i have of of you know with podcasting or video casting oh i do a video show this 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 is great do it you have the tools you know you have an iphone go do it you don't need to buy a camera start you know how many iterations are you gonna have to do before you actually want to show one right but at some point when you start showing it now you have to keep showing it now you have to keep doing it now you can't allow excuses to get in front of it um and you're gonna make mistakes and you're gonna put an episode up wrong you're going to misspell something. It's going to happen. Especially if this is something that, like a, you know, again, I'm centric on the podcast and social media idea um, and, and video idea. But especially if, you know, you know, you want to get it out there. If a lot of people keep making excuses for themselves and see a mistake and realize they're not perfect and that stops them. and i don't have any secret sauce to tell you what keeps that from happening i think it's willpower it's not like a self-help guru now um but you need to learn to push back past that um there's a uh Maybe kind of a parallel idea here is um, the idea of the lizard brain or the monkey mind, uh, depending on where you're going. We talked about recently on an educational grand round with Seclair.com um, when I was on talking about airplane anxiety. And uh, this really applies. I mentioned Seth Godin with Lynchpin. And, and that lizard brain tells you to run from something. It's an old, you know, legacy app in our brains that tells us to run away from, from, from fear. From things to scare us, which really worked when you're running from the saber-toothed tiger that was trying to eat you. Not so helpful when you're trying to run away from your dreams and things you want to do, or the things you have to do sometimes. And uh, something needs to click. You need to tell yourself. I don't know if you get up in the morning and look in the mirror and tell yourself this, but you look at it and say, and this is the philosophy I've and we're kind of gelling two concepts together here, I think. But every time there's something I'm scared of, I have a couple of things on my plate right now. And this happens time to time. I'm independent. I, I don't know where the next check's coming from a lot of times. And uh, I'll come across a project and I wonder, can I do that? Do I have stuff to do that? Can I figure out how to do that? Am I good enough to do that? And I run towards a head first. You know? Maybe it takes extra planning. Maybe it takes extra something. But I don't say no to something I'm afraid of. I know I say no to things that I know legitimately. Like, mm, that's, I can't do that or don't want to do that or something like that. Um, but uh, well, you run towards it and you do it. And you only have mistakes. The big stuff. There were mistakes on the big stuff. That doesn't mean I'm not qualified to do the big stuff. That means I'll learn from it. And then maybe put extra work into it, still deliver a good product for my clients. But now I'm more confident when I find myself in that situation, whether it be a shooting a debate or streaming a live event or taking on another wrestling show, do another podcast for somebody important. You don't run away from it. You learn from it. All those people that you see 
in the position you want to be at didn't get there easily. And I think I've made similar decisions about how they approach things. Well, that's my thoughts for the day. Good morning, iTunes, Stitcher Spreaker, YouTube, the new video show. So you can see this. You can see the seriousness in my eyes when we do this now, right? We have a connection, right? As I hit my mic, you see me hitting my mic. Um, Sorgatron.com is where the show's at. Please let me know. Jeez, I don't know. I don't know a question. <laughs> I don't know a question. I don't know how do you deal with mistakes. You know, do you feel like they come around a lot? We have pushed back anything. Is there something big that you've taken on that you were scared professionally, personally? Let me know. See you guys next time at Servertron on Twitter. Have a good morning. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.